Hello everybody, welcome back. Today, we're looking at some of the latest updates. Not quite as many as I would have liked, but I was off volunteering for the National Night Out, which took up all of my Wednesday and about half of Thursday morning. So, or half of Thursday, the morning. So, yeah, I didn't have a chance to get as much done as I would have liked. But, wells do currently fill, or do now fill, both types of canteens. So, no more running down to the lake for me to fill up on my canteens. I can just fill them right here at the wells. Uh, wells got slightly better support. It's still not 100%, but it's getting better. Slightly better support for placing. Um, so, there are a few more places where you can put them now. Uh, it's all based on soil types. And for some reason this doesn't want to place here now. Come on. Yeah, see this is, it still needs work. Um, unfortunately I can't just check what group a node is in and then say hey if it's in the soil group let me place it. I don't know why it doesn't work. But trust me, I tried quite a bit and it does not work. Are you kidding me? Well, okay, anyways, as I said, that is, well, okay, that worked. As I said, that is not working to the point it should be. It needs more, more work, more rectifying and clarifying and adding all of these other soils. Currently, I'm just using a long list of ifs. And that's how it works. It's not optimal. It's actually very bad. But it kind of works. So that's what we're doing. Um, so we've got that, which is still kind of cooking. And then, speaking of cooking, we have a new item here. A smoker. This is not currently working at all. Let me pull... Oh, actually, I've got it still in my crafting grid right here. Um, it takes any kind of planks, this needs to be in the group planks, a pile of cotton in the center there, and a furnace, and that yields you one smoker. And the smoker, once it's working, as it currently is not, um, will take any kind of tree trunk here, and then you'll be able to put six slices of meat. Currently the meat is stackable. It's not supposed to be. It should only be one slice of meat per slot. Uh, and then let me just show you. Let's grab this furnace here. Let me just show you. This is working. This is a furnace that does not have any wood in it. This furnace does. Let me just steal all the wood out of there. Right now they also do not change back once you take the wood out. Uh, actually, let me see if we can't position ourselves someplace we'll get to see this a little better. Oh, I didn't realize that was a hole too deep. Okay, see how it's just the mesh there and it doesn't have any fire going on behind it? Oh, yeah, we can get this. Um, that's perfect. Once we pop a log in there, ta da! It's burning! Yay! Now, if we just had the mechanics actually working so we could smoke our meat up. Um, how this is gonna work, because it's gonna be kind of confusing, I think, and probably gonna get some some hate mail for it. Um, you put your meat in here, like I said, you only be able to put one meat in each slot, and then as soon as you drop the wood in, it is going to lock the inventory, so you will not be able to pull the meat or the wood out. And it's going to use four pieces of wood, I'm thinking. I, I, that's subject to change. It's going to use some amount of wood to smoke, and basically it's going to use a timer. So as soon as you put the wood in, it locks the inventory, so you can't pull anything out, can't add anything. It starts the timer. Once the timer is done running, it switches your inventories and unlocks them. So these will all switch to smoked steaks, and it'll just take out how many ever chunks of wood it's going to use and then the furnace will switch back to 
just a resting furnace without fire in it. You'll be able to pull your meat out, throw new meat in, put more wood in. We'll all be good. One thing I'm not sure how it's going to work is, say, you put 20 chunks of wood in there. Once it's done doing that first cycle and cooks your meat, takes away the wood, now you got the smoked steak sitting in here. I don't know how to make sure that it doesn't kick into another cycle and try re-smoking these meats. I'll probably have to do a check on the materials in here before it runs. So once you put wood in, it'll have to check the slots and make sure that they are items that can be smoked so you don't have, you know, people smoking cobblestone or dirt and suddenly getting stakes out of it. So that's something I have to look into yet. I haven't really done too much coding on these guys other than to make them just do the switching and add the wood. Like I say, I was volunteering for an event, so I haven't had too much time to get coding in. Um, and that's going to pretty much be it for this update. There's really nothing else as far as new features or anything. Um, I do have some code that's supposed to work, I'm hoping, haven't tried it out yet, for the smoker, which will let me burn anything that is in the group tree. Right now it is only turning on when you use the default tree material. And I'm hoping I can adapt that same code and use it for the wells here. So it'll just look and see if it's in the soil group, and if it is, let you place the well. So that's it for this update. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully soon we'll have a download link for you so you can download it and try it out. Have fun, and I will catch you guys next time.